Hey guys, welcome back. So what I want to show you guys is how to record your own vocals um, so you don't have to sample other artists and then worry about royalties or getting sued or copyright or any of that rubbish when you could actually just do it yourself and you don't need a great microphone to do it. You don't need, you know, thousands and pounds worth of gear. In fact, the worse the mic, the better. And I know that sounds a little bit weird, but we're going for that lo-fi sound. Now, the mic I actually used to record is not that great, but let's take it a step back. First, we've got to find some lyrics. Now, it doesn't matter what lyrics you take. Um, I actually looked up a biggie tune and I just chose this, Dare I Squeeze 3 at your Cherry M3, which I'm guessing has something to do with shooting a BMW. But I'm not a rapper and I'm definitely not heard, but check out this vocal. So I truly believe it's about the performance, okay? I just put on an American accent and I'm actually going to play you what this sounds like uh, without anything on, um, which is quite embarrassing, to be honest. Dare Squeeze 3 at your Cherry M3. So I just came up nice and close to the mic, got the accent right, kind of relaxed, didn't want to be too aggressive. And the first thing I always do when I'm trying to make the G House style of vocal is I use a sound shifter. Now, it's a pitch, this one's a pitch shifter by Waves. It's really, really, really good. I highly recommend um, this one if you want one. It's definitely the best pitch shifter out there. Um, but again, it doesn't matter if you use something that's a little bit more low quality because that's the sound we're going for. Squeeze three at your cherry M3. So just have a listen to this. Dow squeeze three at your cherry M3. Without? Dow squeeze three at your cherry M3. Okay, cool. So next, Isotope Vinyl. This is actually a free plugin. And I'm just using the 1960 year, which kind of filters it out, again, degrades the quality a bit, and the warp depth, which makes the uh, makes this move up and down in pitch kind of randomly. Um, so just really trying to lo-fi the sound even more. Dow squeeze three at your cherry M3. Without? Dow squeeze three at your cherry M3. It's taking out a lot of low frequencies as well. Dow squeeze three at your cherry M3. Next, the compression. I actually think I could compress a bit hard. I'm just trying to control the volumes so it's nice and in my face. Uh, let's just have a listen. Dow squeeze three at your cherry M3. Dow squeeze three at your cherry M3. Without? Dow squeeze three at your cherry M3. It's just some words there. They are quite quiet. So with the compressor on, I'm able to make the louder parts quieter and the quieter parts louder. Dow squeeze three at your cherry M3. Dow squeeze three at your cherry M3. And now. Dow squeeze three at your cherry M3. You can hear how much quieter those sections are. EQ, I kept it simple. There was just a frequency that was annoying me in this section here. Dow squeeze three at your cherry M3. Dow squeeze three at your cherry M3. Dow squeeze three at your cherry M3. Now, I really wanted the vocal to stick out, so I used a micro shift by Soundtoys. It's kind of like a chorus effect. Um, it's very famous for vocals and generally for widening things, so I'm just using a subtle amount of this. If you don't have the micro shift, guys, do go ahead and try something like a flanger or a chorus, and you can actually put this on a send um, or you can put it directly on the channel. Dow squeeze three at your cherry M3. And without? Dow squeeze three at your cherry M3. And with again? Dow squeeze three at your cherry M3. Cool. Last but not least, I wanted a little bit of delay. So I went ahead and just put a quarter note delay, nice and filtered, kind of medium feedback and a bit of spread, wet all the way up, dry all the way down. Dow squeeze three at your cherry M3. Dow squeeze three at your cherry M3. So in the track. Dow squeeze three at your cherry M3. Dow squeeze three at your cherry M3. So there you have it. Find a track that you like. Find the vocals. Maybe you want to write your own lyrics. I've just got the hypnotized vocals by Notorious B.I.G. And record them in. Again, I've actually used the microphone 
on my laptop before so not even bought one just the one that you know you would use for like FaceTime or Skype on your laptop and that sounded really cool just because it's so low quality and you know it's going to bring you closer to the lo-fi sound without you having actually actually having to work for it but the main trick is okay find a rap vocal do an American accent try and be convincing but then pitch it down by five semitones a little bit of isotope vinyl compression if you need it EQ if you need it widen it a little bit and then a little bit of delay on a send all right guys i hope you found that useful i'll see you next time around. remember at sample tools by cr2 we also offer a mix and mastering service just head over to www.sampletoolsbycr2.com click on the mastering tab and you'll find our range of services there